All right, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna be reading a book based uh, loosely on a famous artist named Rene Magritte, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get going. My name is Mr. Mill, and welcome to the Drawing Mill. So we're gonna read this to you guys. It's called Magritte's A Marvelous Hat, and it's by D.B. Johnson. And uh, when I flipped through this book at the library, it has some pretty cool features I think you guys are gonna like. So here we go. All right, here we go. One bright day in the dark of night, the painter Magritte saw a marvelous hat in the store window. When he tried it on, the hat popped up and floated just above his head. Oh my, said the hat maker. Perfect, said Marguerite. He liked how the hat did not pinch his ears or muss his hair. It's going to blow away, the hat maker said, but the hat stayed with Marguerite all the way home. Marguerite was excited about his hat. He hurried up to his room and went straight to the picture he was working on. For the very first time, painting was easy. His brush danced and the color sang. Magritte painted his best picture ever. The next day, Magritte and the hat took a walk. The hat floated playfully above his head and everyone he passed giggled with surprise. All at once, without a breath of wind, the hat blew into a fountain. Flippity flying hat, laughed Marguerite as he jumped in after it. Look, the water fountain's the shape of a hat. <laughs> this is not a hat. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, here we go. For fun, the hat kept pretending to blow away and Marguerite had to chase after it. He had to climb trees and jump over walls. And that afternoon, Marguerite painted a picture even better than the one before. He began to paint day and night. Ooh, this is gonna be another cool page, Carter. Marguerite forgot all the fun he had walking with his hat. He even forgot he had a hat until the moment it bounced along the ceiling, wanting to play. Hat, said Marguerite. I can't paint when you're bouncing. Just be a hat and sit on my head. That was when the hat flew out the window. Oh. And all that once the color splashed into Marguerite's face. And his brush unpainted the picture. I can't paint without my hat. Marguerite cried out. Has anyone seen a hat flying by? He called to everyone on the street. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Marguerite shouted. But the hat did not come to float above his head, or do flips just for fun, or pretend to blow away. Marguerite sat down with a sigh. I miss my hat, he said. At last, Marguerite had an idea. Would the hat come back if he played its favorite game? My Greek called to the hat, Bet you can't find me. Then he opened his umbrella, turned around, and walked home in the rain. The hat flew from a tiny place to look for Marguerite. The hat looked for him in the trees, but there was no Marguerite there. Marguerite was home when the hat sailed in through the window. I'm glad you found me, Marguerite said. The hat glided once around the room and then did a surprising thing. It landed right on Marguerite's head and floated him up into the air. Perfect, said Marguerite. Of course, the hat pinched his ears and mussed his hair, but Marguerite's brush danced and the colors sang once more. Painting was easy. This time Marguerite did not forget the hat. Every morning they strolled down Avenue Lewis together and pretended to blow away just for fun. 
and every afternoon Marguerite painted a new picture better than his best. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I'm sure I did. Uh, now, the famous artist that it's based loosely on is Rene Magritte, and he actually created a painting called uh, Son of Man. And if you guys have seen it before, I'll try to put it over here, over here. And it's based on the guy that has like the apple uh, right by his face. I think it's an apple. And then a bowler hat. That's very signature about his artwork. Now, um, what I want you guys to do is have a photograph or a printout of a picture of you. If you don't have a, print, uh, a picture of you, just draw yourself real quick on a piece of paper. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take another piece of paper, make sure you have a pair of scissors, a pencil, a marker, and any colors that you need. And basically, uh, and then basically what we're gonna do is that we're gonna give you, uh, we're gonna give uh, ourselves a bowl. Ah, can't talk. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves a bowler hat and an apple. But since there's two people in this photo, which is basically me and my son, Carter, uh, I'm gonna give both of us, uh, both of them. So anyways, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to draw everything out first and I'm going to try to measure uh, how big it needs to be. So right now, I can measure it with just this, this marker it's by the B, right there. So I can measure at least, I need a one bowler cap about the size of there. And then Carter's bowler cap is going to be a little bit smaller, probably about here to there. So this is my son's bowler, uh, boulder cap, and here's my boulder cap. It's a little bit larger. I think it curves up like this, if I remember. It's gonna be hard to cut out. There you go. And then there's gonna be a large dome like that. There you go. The Carter's gonna be a little bit more difficult to draw. All right, I tried to make it even as I could. There we go. All right, so now I can go back with a marker, try to make it a little bit more perfect. Now this marker is not doing too well at the moment. Never mind, I just was using the wrong one. There you go, and here's mine. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to mimic the famous artwork go all right so now I have the two bowler caps I'm going to color in with crayon because I don't want to waste my marker so, and plus the marker will smell a lot so I'm just gonna color this part black how it normally is if I go off the lines it's on purpose because I'm cutting this out anyways there we go and then while I'm at it I might as well turn a little bit of a silver stripe at the very end. All right, next up, let's do some apples. I'm pretty confident. I don't think I need to do pencil, but if you need to do pencil, go ahead. I'm just gonna draw the divot where the stem goes, maybe a little leaf, and then I'm gonna go out. Make sure it's big enough. There we go. It'll shine, and then one for Carter. The other direction, I guess. Smaller leaf. And there we go. With a shine as well. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make mine the true color of what kind of is in the book. I'm gonna make Carter's a tad bit different. my best trying to make it a guy apple. I like guy apples. They're my favorite apple. Has a little bit of an orange hint to it. And then has a tad bit of yellow. It's kind of like a goldish color. There we are. Alright, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to cut these out. Okay, so here is mine. And the secret to cutting out is just trying to make it easier for yourself by just getting rid of all this excess 
paper that you don't need. And that way, once you get rid of all the excess paper, it becomes way easier to cut out what you need. So again, all this excess paper, all this excess paper. So why don't we do Carter first? Be as careful as I can. Here is his apple. Am I recording? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let's test it out. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, let's try his hat. He already has a hat on, but we gotta put a bowler hat to symbolize the famous artwork. I don't know why they call it a bowler hat. I gotta research it. I'm a terrible, I was a terrible art major. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's give myself the hat first. Alright, let's put this in the center. Because I'm almost done. Whoa! Let's see the apple apple first. Here's my hat. Wow, that looks goofy. <laughs> Alright, let me do my apple. Alright, got my two apples. Let's put them on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Alright, so I'm really reflecting right now. Oh, it kind of looks so interesting. Anyways, um, that's the lesson. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. Uh, it's really quick. You, all the only art piece that you need to do is just draw the hats and the apple. And uh, that's basically it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.